Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a stack of packs. These are 1990 action-packed football cards. Collector's Edition Premier National Series. High-profile sculptured cards. 900 Hotline. 900 Hotline. Why do I want to call it 900 Hotline? Is this... Does this have something that... Anyway. 900 Hotlines were just... Uh, Interesting phone numbers usually back in the day. Uh, that That's the only way I'll put it. I don't know why they'd be out. I, maybe, maybe it's for something else. I don't know. Anyway, so football cards. These are like a 3D type of card. Very cool. I've opened these before. Gold border, all sorts of cool players. Great stuff could be found in here. Joe Montana, Bo Jackson. Uh, PSA value is not all that high. I think the highest price one on this one is the Joe Montana, somewhere around 75, 80 bucks. The Bo Jackson and the 10 is somewhere around 60. Jerry Rice is somewhere around 50. So not all that much of high valued cards. That's for sure. I mean, if you find something in a 10, uh, Joe Montana, let's just say, and it is actually perfectly centered and no dings, no this, no that, no anything else. And you could flip it out for 75, 80 bucks to somebody who really likes it. Why the heck not? I mean, that's kind of what it is, what it's all about, right? Rip it, flip it, collect what you love. Now, there is one cool card in these. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there's some gold border or something like that. Gold cards that could be part of this one, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But there's also a, a Braille card, which is, you know, that'd be a fun hit. Again, PSA value, not really high, but I haven't seen it yet. So I, I wouldn't mind finding that Braille card. So you see, that's what I was talking about. Look at the three-dimensional on that it's like bubbled out and looks like he's kind of coming at you it's, and it's not like one of the uh one of the hologram cards or anything like that no it's just they 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 gave some depth to the card which is a pretty cool print process i'd say but yeah if that if that was a great card that that anthony munoz if you look that that's all dinged up looks like all of these are so not all that good and this came from uh from a box that I got not too long ago. So that box must have gotten some travel damage or whatever. You never know how they're kept. Got Bruce Smith, Harry Hamilton, Michael Walker, Marion Butts. Ooh, I could say that on this channel. I, I just said Butts because that's his last name. And Rod Woodson. Pretty cool. I, I think I'll frapper that one up. I'll frapper up the Woodson. Yeah, I think so. Now, as always, if there's somebody that you would have put up on your wall of fame that I didn't put up on mine, let me know in the comments. Always happy to, to discuss. And, you know, sometimes I miss one, that's for sure. Uh, other times, you know what? I just ain't feeling putting that player up there for whatever other reason. I, I, I'm, I'm just being snarky there. All right, we got Ron Wolfley. Now, this, this, this pack looks like it's in better shape. I don't see any kind of corner dings. I mean, it could be kind of hard to tell if there's a corner ding or not. Being that the corners are rounded, you can't really tell if it's if it's if it's not straight. But when it's something like this, see, where it's something like that, let's get that up really close. You see, like where that's like bent or lifted or whatever, big difference there. Got Ron Wolfley, Odessa Turner, Fred Marion. You see, even on the back of these cards, these are nice-looking cards, that's for sure. I mean, they weren't your traditional football cards in 1990, so they probably didn't take off very much. But, see, that's what the back looks like. Now, that's a really goofy smile you got going on there, sir. You look, like, way too happy to be here. I don't know. that. It's, we're, anyway, we're, we won't get into where your hands are placed, sir. No, no, no. Got Mark Duper. I understand that was just a... Trying to take him down, trying to tackle him. But yeah, not with that smile on the back of the card. You look creepy. Got Jackie Slater. Come on. Also because of the thickness of these cards, it feels like they're kind of stuck together. I mean, they're not totally, but they are. Just weird. Maybe it's my fingers aren't working right today. And Mervin Fernandez. The Raiders. That's when they were in Oakland. Were they in Oakland? I think so. In Oakland at that time. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's get the next pack going. Still just one card up on the wall. 
All right, we got Mike Rozier. Mark Jackson. Not Michael Jackson, Mark Jackson. Yeah, yeah, different, different game. Paul Palmer. Ooh, I see something nice down there. That's a Falcons card over there. Oh, you probably saw it also by now. Ozzy Newsome and Neon Dion. Nice card there. Dion gets definitely a spot up on the wall. And Charles, man, that's the man. He the man. For some reason, when I say that, I, I think about a Beastie Boys song from back then. All right, anyway, let's get this next pack open. Well, there was a Beastie Boys song from back then, and there's also an Anthrax song from that time that, that had a similar thing about the man. All right, let's see. Ooh, these aren't stuck together at all. Okay, we got Andre Bruce, Mark Ripian. Uh, should I frap her? I, I think I'll frap her him. I think so. Vinny Testaverde. Very nice. Nice card of him. I actually just pulled a Testaverde rookie uh, in another video. 1988 tops. Tunch Ilkin. Vaisikahima. And Seth Joyner. Now, of course, in the 88 tops, Vinny Testaverde is not the big hit. That's the Bo Jackson. And Bo Jackson, is, it's a, he's a couple steps above Testaverde in this as well. And he was a couple steps above Testaverde, I'd say, just as a potential. You know, just what could have been if Bo would have not gotten injured and not had career ending, all of that stuff. I mean, who knows where his career would have gone. Anyway, let's get pack number five going. That, that's the thing. Deion Sanders was definitely a lot of flash, a lot of brash. His baseball career was definitely not as good as his football career. I mean, he basically played the Yankees to, to, to get his Falcons contract better and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. From what I was reading, the Falcons had a lawsuit against the Yankees and the Yankees were all, up, hey, all livid about that and just a whole sort of mess. Got JoJo Townsell. All right, we got an LT. Lawrence Taylor. Nice hit there. Very cool. Stanley Morgan. Sounds like a banker name. He's your anchor banker. He understands. Not really. Anchor bank is long time gone. Tim Brown. Stephon Page. Nice catch. If you could touch it, you should have caught it. Chris Hinton. That's what they taught us in football. If it touches your hand, you should have had it. You should have caught it. There's no reason you should have dropped it. For the baseball, football, I, maybe we were taught a little bit tougher back then. I don't know. Or at least they tried to teach us that. All right, we got our last pack going here. Hope y'all enjoyed. I definitely appreciate you watching and commenting and thumbs upping and all of that other great stuff. All right, we got another Vinny Testaverde here. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll frapper that one up. Well, that was very nice. My older daughter stopping by to drop me off some pizza. I like pizza. Pizza's good food. Got John L. Williams, Lee Williams, Tunch Ilkin, and what's who's stuck to the back of Tunch, Tunch Ilkin, Vaisikahima, and Seth Joyner. A lot of duplicates there. Would kind of make sense. I don't think this was a very big set. Maybe 300 cards total, so... After you go through a box or two of these, you probably got the whole set. You know. All right, so we got the next test of Verdi. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of tossed. I, I flipping between the Dion Sanders and the Lawrence Taylor as far as best card in this opening. The Vinny Test of Verdi times two. Yeah, you know what? Not bad, but LT Dion, LT Dion, Dion LT. I don't know. One of the two. Anyway. All in all, definitely some fun packs. Didn't get the Braille card, but that's okay. I have a bunch more of these packs coming up sometime soon. And uh, you know what? If I find the Braille card, that'd be pretty cool to find on camera. Better better to find it on camera than uh, off camera. Like, I find a lot of cool stuff off camera. And I got to get out of that habit of, uh, of just opening packs randomly without the camera on. Because, 
You know what? Then I then I have it. It's kind of like the Derek Jeter red back card that I pulled off camera. It's like, I wish that would have been on. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bungle out.